Hi, this is my book review of the Iliad. Let me open with a quote that can be found on page 350. It says, The tongue of man is a twisty thing, there are plenty of words there of every kind, the range of words is wide, and their variance. Mission accomplished. I have completed the Iliad that is translated by Richmond Lattimore. I give five stars to this translation. They say this is the friendliest translation of all verse translations, and I seem to agree. The Iliad is originally a poem divided into 24 books or chapters. It has two types of translations, the verse and the prose. I have read a prose translation. It is a children's version in which the art of writing has been simplified and sacrificed. The Richmond Lattimore translation preserves the Old English of the old generation. The spellings are different. Achilles' name is spelled as Achilles. Goddess Athena is called as Athene. These old spellings do not destroy the substance of good writing, however. It does not read like a poem with those awkward metrics and rhymes. It reads more like a story with vivid descriptions and dialogues. It is much like the longer version of Florante at Laura a Filipino romantic poem written by Francisco Balagtas in the Philippines. The translation is not the smoothest translation to read, which is understandable. It is made for adult bookworms and students. Also, there are parts that I do not follow. The long dialogues are not written inside the quotation marks. This translation has given more depth to each character. It takes time to say something essential about them, especially the Greek gods and goddesses. Each book entertains me more when the story focuses on Zeus, Poseidon, or Hera. This is my first time reading an unabridged edition of The Iliad. It is a bigger world than I have imagined where all the major and minor characters are present. Sadly, not everyone is given a spotlight as expected. Apart from the Greek gods, the juicy dialogues and action scenes are given to those lead characters such as Achilles, Patroclus, and Hector. The war between the Achaeans and Trojans lasted for a decade. This translation captures the bloody battles in its most vivid description. I am amazed. I am thrilled. I am shocked. I have read multiple battles and wars in the past. What makes the Iliad a standout is the presence of Greek gods and goddesses. They are not really fighting in flesh. They have powers and they have the ability to put themselves in someone's body. These gods control the outcome of the battles too. Each has a favorite camp to support with. Ares, for example, supports the Trojans. Book 24 ends on a high. It is the not the most ambitious endings in fantasy fiction, but it is filled with heart. You tend to realize what a good father can do for his son. There are underwhelming fillers in each book, especially in book 23. The Achaeans version of Olympics is not interesting. There you have it. Hope you have enjoyed my book review of the Iliad. See you around.